Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Culture with Pat. Today we are talking about Adam Sandler's newest Netflix film, Hubie Halloween. Well, hello, my ghouls and goblins. I know you've got your costumes picked out for the frightful festivities. And I hope you all get more treats than tricks. I don't want you to punish! So before we go ahead and get into the review, guys, I actually want to let you know at the end of this review, I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience working on this movie as an extra. Yeah, that's right. Last summer, I got a chance to actually be an extra on this movie and, um, you know, just tell you a little bit about my experience. It was it was really cool. It was my first time ever getting a chance to be on like a professional film set. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to hear more about that, make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. But yeah, so uh, Hubie Halloween, for those who, you know, aren't familiar with the film, um, basically this movie, you know, it takes place on Halloween. Adam Sandler, he plays this character who, um, you know, he really loves like the holiday and, and you know, is just all about it. He lives in Salem, Massachusetts, and everyone else, you know, kind of like, you know, for the most part, kind of picks on him and, you know, he's kind of the joke of the town. And, you know, he's, he's just doing his thing when, you know, this year for Halloween, some strange things start happening in town. And, you know, Hubie kind of takes it upon himself to find out what's going on to protect, you know, the town of Salem, Massachusetts before it's too late. So it's, you know, it's really not too crazy of like a plot or anything like that. Uh, you do have a lot of the, you know, the similar Adam Sandler alumni, you know, coming back for this film. Not everybody, but there's, you know, there's a good amount, a lot of different cameos and stuff like that. Uh, that's one of the things, you know, going into this, uh, watching this movie for the first time. It's funny, and I don't know if I've really, like, you know, I, it's been actually a while since I've seen, you know, besides, like, Uncut Gems. I hadn't really watched any, like, Adam Sandler movies in quite some time. He's been kind of, like, hit or miss with, like, some of the, the Netflix films and stuff like that. So, I hadn't really watched anything, and with Hubie Halloween, you kind of get, like, a, um, a greatest hits of sorts, you know, with all his different films and characters because there's, you know, references and Easter eggs to some of his, like, different movies, some characters from, you know, different movies that actually, you know, like, make, like, cameo appearances and stuff like that. So I actually, you know, thought that was kind of cool and was was funny, you know. Uh, it seems like everybody these days pretty much has, like, a cinematic, you know, universe with Marvel, you know, doing theirs and everyone else is trying to do it now, so why not Adam Sandler? But yeah, so you kind of get a greatest hits. And even his character, uh, Hubie, he, you know, the way that he talks, I've seen a lot of, some people mention how, you know, because he has an accent kind of mumbly like throughout the film. And I've seen some people kind of say that bothered them and they couldn't really understand him. Uh, I didn't, I didn't really run into that problem. I thought it was fine, but I could see why people were saying that. Uh, but it definitely reminded me of Bobby Boucher from The Waterboy. And I think that's what he was going for. So like I said, a lot of different... Easter eggs and stuff like that throughout the film. Um, they, I mean, there's tons of, you know, appearances by, you know, different people. There's, uh, you know, Kevin James, obviously, he's in there. Um, he plays, like, the uh, the sheriff or, you know, police officer for the town. Uh, you even have, like, Shaquille O'Neal, who, like, shows up as one point. And his, his appearance, when he, like, when he showed up, was probably, like, for me, like, one of the funniest parts of the movie. And... And speaking of, you know, funny, overall, I thought this movie was actually really a lot of fun. Now, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some aspects, some jokes that are a little, like, juvenile and, and things like that. And you're kind of just like, okay, like, yeah, you know, that's not really that funny. But believe it or not, there was actually several times throughout the movie where I was laughing pretty hard at some of the, you know, the jokes and stuff, different lines from characters and things like that. So... Overall, it was a pretty funny film, and, you know, it's supposed to be a comedy, so if you can make me laugh, you know, you're definitely doing your job right. Um, you know, like I said, he, he's, Adam Sandler, he's kind of gotten bagged on, I feel like, for, you know, his, like, recent movies, and some of them, you know, might be well, you know, deserved, but I think, like, with this movie, he definitely set out to do what he wanted to do, and that was, you know, make people laugh. Uh, the other thing with this movie, one of the biggest, you know, praises that I can give to it is that the the set, just how everything looks, the Halloween atmosphere is just like top notch. Uh, you know, everywhere you go, like the neighborhood houses, especially his house is just like decked out with Halloween decorations. And being a fellow, fellow Halloween enthusiast, 
I really, really appreciated that because, you know, I go all out for my yard and stuff like that. So just getting to see all these decorations, you know, I'll talk about it a little bit more. But when I was an extra on the, um, the set, not my particular scene, but we visited like a separate day and like the whole town was decorated and I saw that in the movie. So you, this is definitely like the perfect type of, you know, family comedy like Halloween movie to watch right now I think that you know everyone could really get a lot of enjoyment out of it it just oozes that Halloween atmosphere and I, I couldn't be more happy with just that alone so that itself you know made me enjoy this movie so much and if you're a big lover of Halloween I think that you guys are gonna enjoy it even if it's just for that aspect as well now, you know, like I said, the movie, it isn't perfect. Um, it's definitely not something, I wouldn't say it's like Adam Sandler's like, you know, best movie of all time, but it's it's definitely nowhere near, I would say like his worst movie either. Um, I was going into this and, you know, where I was like an extra in the film, I was like, oh man, I, I hope this is a solid film. I was a little nervous because I had heard some early reviews and was like, oh boy, like I hope it's not bad. But watching the film, you know, with some friends, we had like a little premiere and I actually found myself really, really enjoying this film. I am actually excited to go back and watch it again and think that this could turn into something that, you know, I might go ahead and, and watch every year around the holiday season. And mostly, I would say because of, you know, just like how it, it just feels like a Halloween movie kind of gives you that earnest, scared, stupid kind of vibe. And, um, you know, all the characters, I thought for the most part, there's definitely like a couple that are just like completely dicks. And, like, you don't really like him or whatever. Um, but there's a lot of really likable characters. Like, Noah Schnapp, he, he shows up, you know, for a little bit. Um, there, there are a ton of different people on the film. And I, I thought that there was quite a few that you're like, you know what? These are some actually, like, solid characters. And I really appreciate what they're doing here. So, um, overall, you know, I'm going to give this movie a solid 7.5 out of 10. Um, I might even bump it up, you know, like down the road, like I said. It, it's just a really fun film. It knows what it is. It's a good Halloween movie. The comedy, I thought, for the most part was there. There's some jokes that don't hit, but I found myself laughing quite a bit, you know, throughout the movie. And honestly, with a comedy, that's what you want it to do. Uh, the story was, you know, it was okay. Wasn't anything too complicated or anything like that. But that for this type of film, you're not really going for that. So anyways, yeah, guys, I give this a solid 7.5. I highly suggest you guys check it out. If you haven't yet on Netflix, I know I'm a little late with this. I was gone this weekend and um, I got another uh, video coming up, you know, based off my weekend adventures up in Bangor. But yeah, I still wanted to get this out uh, just because, you know, I was an extra in this movie and that was really cool. So like I said before, um, you know, being an extra in this movie, there was a ton of people that went out for it. Um, you know, you just, I, I filled out the form, I went down to Marblehead, um, they took, you know, some pictures of me and stuff like that, and, um, you know, then basically you just had to wait and see if you were going to get called or, or emailed, and, um, you know, didn't hear anything for a little bit, I'd actually applied for another extra on the site of, um, Christopher Evans, uh, Saving Jacob, um, I didn't, I got called a couple times, but didn't get to go down. So I didn't end up working on that. But anyways, with uh, Hubie Halloween, I went down or didn't hear anything for a while. And then finally, I got like a text message or whatever saying, you know, they wanted me to come down. So I ended up uh, getting to take the day off from work. My boss was really cool about that. So that was awesome. And um, I was in the scene. So in the movie itself, I'm in it for like two seconds. <laughs> I was in the uh, funeral scene and like that whole time we, we filmed for like a, you know, a complete day. So I was in that funeral scene and when people are kind of walking away, you can, I believe, see me in the background. I'm wearing like a black hat and I was like one of the only people that day that actually had like a black hat, like not many other people did. Um, so like leaving like the funeral services or whatever, I believe you can see me in the background. So it's very, very small cameo. Um, and then when the ladies like you know singing or whatever above like the the casket they show like you know these group of mourners there's like two sets right here i was on this side so i was in the opposite like where the camera was so that was kind of disappointing or whatever otherwise you probably would have seen me right there but it was still uh, so much fun um we filmed like in a graveyard literally like all day it, it was you know it was just so cool to see kind of the background of you know how movie making and that stuff like works 
um you know i, I remember seeing just like how they kind of made like the leaves like falling and stuff like that with this fan and um you know i got to talk to like adam sandler and actually michael chiklis for a little bit he came over and was like talking to me you you don't want to go up and talk to them they tell you that you know on the set to you know only if the actors come up to you then you can talk to them obviously but otherwise don't approach them so i didn't i got to talk to both of those guys they were both really really cool and it was just one of the most fun experiences you know that i can think of in, in recent memory you know one because it's a halloween movie and two um you know i just love movies so it was just a really really cool experience to get to see the kind of the behind the scenes magic i always love reading and like you know watching documentaries and stuff on behind the scenes stuff so getting to like be there and see all of that was just so so much fun and uh I really hope I get the chance to, you know, do some more. I know with uh, COVID and everything kind of going on, we'll see like what happens, but I would totally love to do more of these cameos and I will uh, let you guys know if that happens. But yeah, anyways, I, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed that little blurb. It, like I said, for me, it was just something that was so much fun and I, I, I was being careful not to say anything just because I, I didn't know if like, you know, I'd get in trouble or whatever. But now that the movie's out, um, yeah, it was a blast, you know, just being on the set. We went back another day too and saw the Halloween decorations and everything like that set up. And it was outside of Salem too. Most of the stuff was not filmed in, in Salem. So they did a good job of, you know, making it look like that. And I'm not sure why that was the case. There was like, there was some scenes that were, but I think for the most part it was actually outside. I don't know if it was like money or whatever, but Anyways, guys, thank you again for checking out, you know, this review. I hope if you guys do, you know, watch Hubie Halloween, I hope that you enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think, you know, down below in the comments. And as always, guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button next to it. That way you get notifications for all my new videos. And as always, guys, please make sure to check back for more pop culture with Pat.